Hey everyone, my name is Max, and uh, today I want to build something that sonifies network traffic. Now, what do I mean by that? There are a lot of ways to visualize the flow of traffic on a network, right? Things like Wireshark uh, or other data visualization tools. But what would that traffic sound like if we were to to make that happen? That's the question that I, I want to figure out today, or at least take a stab at. Now you may be asking yourself, Max, why would a network need to make sound? Do you, I say, that's a good question. <laughs> well, there, there are some reasons. First reason, it sounds cool, that I want to try it, so we're going to do it. Uh, <laughs> second is that data solidification is a, is a great powerful creative tool for music or sound art um all sorts of stuff like that and that's kind of what i want to use this for um third reason is that data sonification is kind of this burgeoning alternative to uh data visualization in all sorts of environments uh imagine if you will that you are a network administrator and you're overseeing this large scale system. If you're, uh, you know, watching a Wireshark feed or some other um, monitoring tool, you, the whole of your attention is focused on that. Whereas um, the sonification of that uh, environment would seek to create kind of a soundscape that you become familiar with. And so if you, as the administrator, um, detect something anomalous, or rather if there is an anomaly in the system, or if somebody tries to attack it, that will sound a certain way. A DDoS attack, for example, or like a port scan or something, would result in, you know, different kinds of traffic occurring on the network. That would sound different, and you could um, respond accordingly. So anyway, we are not <laughs> network administrators. We're just going to kind of do it for, for fun. We're going to do two things. The first is a way to capture packet information on a network. The second is going to be a way to turn that data that we capture into sound somehow. My idea is to use TCP flags, uh, which are identifiers for different kinds of, of packets in the TCP protocol, um, an intimate understanding of which is, is not required for this, I think. Um, so we'll, we'll go for that. Um, and then we're going to use each of the different kinds of packets as identifiers to trigger different sounds. And the pitch of those sounds will be mapped to the size of the packet, right? So larger packets will create a higher pitch. That's the idea. Anyway, it's enough talking. Why don't we go ahead and uh, jump in the machine and uh, see what we can do. Alrighty, so here we are in the machine. Now, the first thing we got to do, like we said, is to find a way to capture packet information on our network, right? Now, uh, like I mentioned, there's lots of awesome uh, free available tools for doing that, Wireshark being the um, most popular probably. But unfortunately, Wireshark at least does not uh, output that information in a human readable format. So we're going to have to write our own. Uh, and we're going to do that here in Python. Frankly, I am kind of terrible at Python, so I'm sure many of you are going to have better ideas for how to do this, but um, it is what it is. Uh, anyway, we're going to do it in Python, and we're going to use the Scapy library, which is an awesome library for doing kind of exactly what we're doing here packet analysis, packet injection, all sorts of fancy stuff. We are not going to use it to the fullness of its capabilities uh, here today. It's just gonna be really simple. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this and I'll be back with you once it's done.
Okay, and we're back. So, uh, we can see here that we have something working, which is just great. You can see all of the incoming and outgoing packets on our little home network here. All this script is doing is looking at incoming and outgoing packets and picking apart its flags. Depending on the flag that that packet has, the kind of packet that it is, we're going to send a UDP message. That UDP message is going to uh, the part of our program that's going to do the sonification. So anyway, now we have our packet sniffer. We're looking at traffic on our network as it scrolls by. Very good, very good. Now uh, we just need to turn that information into sound. Now how are we going to do that? We're going to do that using Ableton Live. Now Ableton Live is a DAW, it's a digital audio workstation. Uh, we use it for production and uh, all sorts of great music sound stuff. But we're actually not so interested in the Ableton Live part of Ableton Live. Uh, what we're more interested in is Max. Now Max MSP is a graphical programming language that specializes in audiovisual software and that's what we're using to do the sonification in this uh, scenario. So here you can see the the Max patch itself and this is the rest of it. So this is just a little uh, bit of software I Skips this up ahead of time so you wouldn't have to watch me do this. Um, but this is just a really simple patch that is in our 3D packets on the ports. And so we're going to be designing packets, which generally less than the original structures. And we are seeing that value in the device to certain things that we can use on the video. If you go to the video, it's used for the expression of how you're about to load. So we're seeing our mic information to Now I'm going to go ahead and stop this uh, program right now and turn these on. Now each of these tracks, uh, each kind of packet has its own sound associated with it. Uh, this is what Ableton Live is great for. So you can see ACK is just a sine wave, SYN is a physical modeling synth, SYN ACK uh, is, it looks like a music box. Uh, PUSH is a weird kind of square wave looking thing. Uh, so anyway, let's go ahead and run this and see what we get. It's going to ask for our IP address, which again is the IP that uh, we are connected to on our machine here. Choose an interface. Hey, look at that. We have sound. Looks like not very much of it though. Oh, there we go. So you can see every time we get a packet coming in here, we are getting a little sound. Let me uh, open a web page here on my other monitor and. Uh... Hey! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Hey, that's pretty cool. So, let me, uh, <laughs> all right, just open Gmail, <laughs> sounds pretty accurate, it seems like, oh, okie dokie, wow, calm down, <laughs> oh, there's another little sound. Every time I open an email, you can hear um, another little burst of packets as it's requesting that information. Oh, there's a reset packet. Very nice. a fun fun little project but uh that's all i have for you today thank you so much for watching thank you so much for watching cheers